top 16 your boy made it to top 16 so we're gonna be talking about the top 16 decks and honestly it is these are pretty these are some insane decks the meta breaking decks no longer are you just seeing mewtwo and pikachu win tournaments oh man i can't wait to get to the first place but first we're gonna go over the uh, top 16 to like the ninth place they're kind of all over the place they don't actually have placings and your boys in there too and we're gonna start off with this first one cold frog uh i believe this is by sush and this thing's kind of spicy we have two articunos Two Froki, two Frogadier, and two Greninjas, which I really like. You're you're running the Articuno, which a lot of people talked about at the start, even before this game came out. They were talking about the combo of Greninja's ability with Articuno's Blizzard and uh, damaging the benched Pokemon. And then on top of that, you have Meowth here to search for cards for you, to, to draw cards for you. Uh, we have two Pokeballs, one X Speed, two Potions, one Misty. Just kidding, we have two Misties. It's hard. I've been up since 4 a.m. Stop yelling at me. One Sabrina, one Giovanni, and two Professor Researchers. Pretty solid for the top 16. Next up, we have a Mewtwo deck. We're going to see a lot of those. And this one's by Chicken Jam. Two Mewtwo EXs, the full Gardevoir line, super staple. I don't think you need anything. I guess you could run a Meowth, but they didn't need to. And they got into the top 16. They were dominating with two potions, two X speeds, two Pokeballs, one red card, because I think that is a staple for every single Mewtwo deck, two Sabrinas, one Giovanni. That's interesting, I'll be honest. I've seen uh, two Giovannis in a lot of Mewtwo decks and then two Professor Researchers. Shout out to you. Next up is another Mewtwo deck list Gardevoir. This is pretty uh, standard. Everything is a double copy and all you really have is 10 cards. This is for uh, Capo. Shout out to you. Uh, they're running two red cards, two Pokeballs, two potions, two X speeds, two Giovannis like I just said and two Professor Researchers, and then the full staple line. Pretty standard. I mean, if it's not broke, what do you need to fix, you know? If it's taking you to top 16, what do you need to fix? And then, uh, <laughs> get a load of this guy. <laughs> uh, this is my deck list. Yeah, your boy made it to top 16. Uh, I don't have a placement, but we made it to top 16, not top eight, unfortunately. But we did it with two Pikachu EXs, two Vault Orbs, two Electrodes, one Zapdos EX, because I am not spending any of my pack points. And the last minute switch from the video, if you watched it the other day, is a Blitzel and a Zep Striker. And oh my God, I'm gonna try to make a video on the entire experience, making it up to, you know, top 16, uh, about how I almost won one of the largest pocket tournaments, you guys. Uh, but Zep Striker is insane. It is insane how valuable, that was the real MVP of this deck. We have a single Giovanni and a single Sabrina, and I can explain to you why. Is because I find that I lose more matches when I have two Sabrinas because I'm using them incorrectly. When I have only one Giovanni and one Sabrina, it's I'm almost always using it at a point where it's like very critical for me. I'm like, is this going to win me the game? Do I need to use it right now? If not, I'm holding it. So I think that's pretty good why I built that deck. We have two potions, which I'm a potion stand now. We have one XP, two Pokeballs, and two Professor Research. Uh, next is... A Pikachu EX, and this is Tone Tone Z Tone Z. Shout out to you! Uh, two Pikachu EXs, two Voltorbs, two Electrodes, uh, two Zapdos EXs. I always want to say like one Zapdos EX, but it's two, right? Because I see the like different types here. Uh, and then we have a red card, two Pokeballs, two X Speeds, two Potions, one Giovanni, and two Sabrinas, and then two Professor Researchers. Pretty pretty staple. But uh, again, this is one of the one of the top meta decks, right? You got Pikachu, you got Mewtwo's. And honestly, I thought we would see more, you know, Misty's and Articuno's and Starmie's, but I didn't, right? Uh, we got two more in the top 16 from the ninth place to 16. Another Mewtwo here, pretty standard. The only difference is they're running one Giovanni as opposed to the other one, right? And this one is for Alpha Wolf. Or am I getting that right? No, no, I'm wrong. They don't have a link. This is not Alpha Wolf. This is... Uh, Dre Gods, shout out to you. I'm pretty sure you might have been like undefeated going into top, right? I think they had a perfect record. I could be wrong. They might have gotten at least like one loss going into the finals, but they honestly could have been 7-0 because I think I remember that name. Ulf, for sure. I'm pretty sure they were also undefeated going into the, the finals, which is the next person. It is another Mewtwo. Uh, Gardevoir list, shout out to you. Same thing here, but you'll notice two Giovanni, one Sabrina. I am a firm, yeah, they were 7-0, uh, shout out to them. I'm a firm believer 
that two Giovanni is better than two Sabrina for Mewtwo because doing 60 damage gets you an easy KO almost always on basic Pokemon for only two energy investments. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend two Giovannis over two Sabrinas if you had to choose for that. All right, now we're making it to top eight and this is where things get pretty insane. Yeah, you're looking at a aggro Blaine deck list in the top eight. Um, that's no EX Pokemon. There's no Moltres. This is insanity, you guys. I actually went up against this person and we went 2-0. We got, I guess we got lucky because they were crushing it. They were dominating. Uh, to hit top eight with Blaine, nasty work. Shout out to you, uh, Rage It, I think. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but yo, shout out to you. Great matches. Two Vulpix, two Ninetales. That gets the 120 damage with the Blaine. Two Ponitas, two Rapidash, one Magmar. So essentially, this really is just Blaine aggro. And again, they did so well. Two X Speeds, two Pokeballs, two Professor Research, two Sabrinas. I think Sabrina in this type of deck is so threatening because with Blaine, actually, wait, no, I take it back because you can't play Blaine and Sabrina, but you can still hit something for 90 damage with your Ninetales, which is insanity, right? And then we have one Giovanni with the two Blaines. Congrats to you. Pretty solid. This is this is the aggro Blaine deck list you would want to run. Next is a Pikachu EX. This is the seventh place. Angie, shout out to you. Oh man, I wish I had like the sound effects for everyone like clapping. Maybe I'll put that in post edit. We'll see. We have two Pikachu EXs, two Voltorbs, two Electro EXs, a Zapdos EX, and then a regular Zapdos, which honestly, I don't I, I don't I don't I don't understand that, but they're seventh place, so clearly they know something I don't know. I can imagine like it's good to like take damage early on while you're getting everything else set up in the back, maybe. Right. It's a, more of a stall approach, um, but dealing 100 damage for three energy investment and then dealing 30 to one of your Pokemon, I guess, could be pretty good. Right. 100, 100 stat line isn't bad. I don't know. I'm not the pilot of this. I'm sure they have reasons and those reasons clearly worked for them. Uh, two potions, two X speeds, two Pokeballs, one red card. OK, this is the first time I'm seeing a red card with a Pikachu. Spicy stuff. Two Professor Researchers, one Giovanni and two Sabrinas. Shout out to you again. Next is another Pikachu EX, and this is Elwood. I think this is the uh, the person who is streaming on Twitch. Shout out to you. I think, I think it might've been the person I stopped by and I was like, yo, we made it the top 16, congrats. And they got, what place was this again? They got sixth place, shout out to you. And they're running the Lieutenant Surge Raichu package with their Pikachu EX. Two Pikachu EXs, two Zapdos EXs, two regular Pikachus, and only one Raichu with one Lieutenant Surge. Because if you're you play it correctly, and I'm sure they did, they piloted uh, their deck correctly, you can just easily hit for 140 with no repercussion. Like right, like it's so. I mean, the repercussion is the other Pokemon lose energy, but it's pretty good. Two potions, two uh, X speeds, two Pokeballs, one Lieutenant Surge, two Professor Researchers, two Giovannis and two Sabrinas. Shout out to you. Great, great deck list. All right, now we're getting real spicy. Not that not that we weren't getting spicy already, but God pack right here. Remember last tournament, there was no Charizard in the top eight. They weren't doing this. This I think they also went into the top 16, 7-0 with Charizard. It's such a standard, standard deck list for Charizard, but it, it, it works so well. Two Charmander, two Charmeleon, two um, Charizard, two Moltres EXs, two Potions, two Pokeballs, two X Speeds, two Red Cards, two Sabrinas, and two Professor Researchers. Crazy work. So their name in the uh, client, I believe, is God Pack, right? In the in the in the game in pocket, but in Discord, it's Spore Venom. Shout out to you. <laughs> Insane work. Love to see it. Um, crazy stuff. So just wait till we get to get to first place, you guys. Uh, next up is what is this fourth place? This is I. OK, and they're running. Oh, they ran the Meowth package and it worked for them. Listen, I'm going to shut up. This is who this is someone that not this isn't the exact person, but this is the person that this isn't the person. Let me stop talking. This is the similar deck that I beat in round two. But this person took their deck, very similar variant, all the way to fourth place. And they're running their Meowth to help them draw the cards that they need to get their Gardevoir package going. They have two potions, they have two X speeds, two Pokeballs, one red card, one Sabrina, one Giovanni, and two Professor Researchers. Shout out to you, I. 
Next up, we're going to the top three. And this was my seventh round matchup. The one we went into, it was a horrible matchup for me. We beat him seven. Uh, no, so I was going to say seven. No, I'm tripping. We beat him 2-0. Worst matchup for me, but they got third place, so let me zip it. Shout out to you. Good stuff. They're running Farfetched, Sandshrew, Sandslash, two Cubones, and two Marowak EXs. Their name is Zoa Cram. Two uh, Pokeballs, one Potion, one XP, two Professor Researchers, two Giovannis, and two Sabrinas. Really good work. Now we're getting into the second place. Here it is. If you guys have already watched the video, this is Drake's second place deck listing. This is the person that uh, came out on top in the first round of top six who I went against. So it kind of feels good that they went all the way to the end. And it wasn't like someone that lost the next round and that, that I lost to. I lost to someone that got second place. Listen, I'm coping here, okay? I'm coping so hard. <laughs> no, genuinely, I'm pretty excited. I didn't even expect to hit top 16. But anyway, that's not about me. It's about them. They hit two Mewtwo EXs, a full Ralts Gardevoir line, two potions, only one red card. And again, only one Sabrina. And then you have two Pokeballs, two Professor Research, and two Giovannis. Crazy work. And now, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can handle this. First place, I believe, is another YouTuber because I watched one of their videos, uh, I think last week, where they were covering a tournament, uh, like analytics stuff. Uh, nothing but bangers. Is it? Is it not going to load? Okay, there it is. This is the first place deck list, which is insane which is insanity, you guys. Two Bulbasaur, two Ivysaur, two Venusaur, two Execute, two Executor standards, and then one EX Executor. Like, I don't even know how they piloted this. They literally were matched up against the Charizard, I think, in the second round or third? The second round, right? Because the third was this. And they beat the Charizard. They, listen, it, it, I'm pretty sure they have a YouTube channel. Definitely give them a follow. Insane work. If I'm right, it's the dude that wears like, uh, I think they're wearing a mustache. I don't know, actually, <laughs> but great content. No Lilligant, two Pokeballs, two X Speeds, two Erica's, one Sabrina and two Professor Researchers. Uh, maybe it was the executor roles. I don't know. I don't know. But they he does wear the mustache. I, I didn't want to say he's wearing a mustache and that was just his mustache. You know, I don't want to start start that. <laughs> but yeah, no, great, great content and clearly Another content creator that knows what he's talking about, that plays the game, knows how to build decks and apparently wins tournaments. I can't I can't say that yet. <laughs> so shout out to them. And there you guys have it. That is the top eight. Well, technically top 16 that we talked about, but the top eight winning deck lists of this 128 player Pokemon Pocket Tournament. And uh, there's going to be the weekly events. I'll drop the link of the Discord if you want to compete in these uh, events in the future. Uh, but yeah, you already know that I'm definitely going to compete in these events. Uh, I'll tell you, though, I'm not going to wake up at 5 a.m. anymore. No, not doing it.